It's been a while since I did a Minnie Mouse the Main Attraction DIY video, but I figured we have to end out the year doing a DIY of the grand finale Castle Fireworks Ears. It's really funny now if you look back on the DIY video I made for the January Space Mountain ears because I was talking about, oh wow, the resale value of the ears is so high. <laughs> um, well, now I've been regularly seeing those ears resell for $400, so let's just say things have gotten a lot crazier since then. There has just been such insane collector craze over this whole series. But that's why I like doing these DIY videos to offer you a way to create your own pairs of the ears in case you weren't lucky enough to get them on your own in Merch Pass or don't want to pay the exorbitant resale prices. So for today, we have a DIY of the December Minnie Mouse The Main Attraction Grand Finale Ears featuring our lovely fireworks and also the castle in the center. I had to adjust the castle center a little bit due to materials that were available, but otherwise these ears are a pretty similar recreation. The fireworks are actually all hand painted on the ears, so the techniques used with this are very similar to my DIY Ahsoka Tano ear video, but I think overall these are actually quite easy to DIY and pretty fun to make. Now, if you own a Cricut, you could super easily make a very exact recreation of these ears just cutting out some vinyl but I do not have a Cricut, hence why I go for the fully hand-painted aesthetic. That's also the most accessible way to do it. And because, you know, it's bursts of fireworks, things don't have to be perfect and you can put your own special touch on it. So let's get into the DIY for how to make your own Minnie Mouse The Main Attraction Grand Finale Ears. If you haven't seen any of my DIY videos before, I recommend you check out my DIY Fall Corduroy Minnie Mouse Ears video where I show the full process of how I make my sewn base pair of ears. For the ears, I'll be using this black cotton fabric. The fabric is quite thin, so I'm going to double it up where I have four total pieces of right sides fabric together per ear. I use an 11 centimeter diameter circle as my base template, and I mark where to leave open at the base. Pin fabric together, then sew along your circle. Cut off excess fabric, leaving extra at the unsewn base. Then turn your ears right sides out. I normally use a large roll of household firm foam from Joann's for my ears, but I found this great more accessible alternative which is 6mm thick craft foam. I use my 10cm diameter circle with an arc to trace and cut out two foam pieces. Toggle fold the foam and place into each ear. Then stuff your ears to desired puffiness using fiber fill. As I showed in my DIY fall corduroy ear video, I always sew close the base of the ears. Now for the headband itself, I use my standard 1 inch plastic base and I'll be covering it in this black velour fabric. You then want to cut out and attach the headband fabric as I show in full in the other video. I only have white and black braid trim on hand, so I colored the white trim with a pink sharpie and bled the color throughout using nail polish remover and a cotton ball. And then the headband itself is complete and the makeshift pink trim turned out perfectly. We now mark on the headband for where to attach the ears. Mark the center, then mark four centimeters down on both sides. As I always do and have shown before, I hand sew the ears onto the headband. Our base pair of ears is now ready for decoration. 
I have an assortment of acrylic paint to match the color of the ears, and I'll be adding fabric painting medium to these colors. But first, I'll be using a white matte fabric paint as a base. I'm starting on the back of the ears, and I'm just freehand painting the design using a photo as the guide. I'm putting a white base first because it's going to allow the colors to pop much easier and better on the dark black fabric. There's also a few alternative ways for how to do this. You can first draw out your design using a white fabric pencil, or instead of paint, you can use a white fabric paint marker to draw on your design. Once you've painted the white background base on the front and back, you can paint over it with a colored paint, which will likely need two coats for good coverage. Going back to the white paint, paint on the fireworks in the foreground. Then you can paint over those in their final color. The ears themselves are complete and now we just need to finish them off with a bow. I have some black sequin fabric left over from my Betsy Johnson ear DIY and I've cut out a piece that is 28 by 20 centimeters and a smaller 4.5 by 10 centimeter piece. I'm lining the bow with a black cotton fabric from earlier and cut out a piece that is 27 by 10 centimeters. Place in the center of the fabric, then sandwich around and glue down on all sides. Fold the fabric in half and glue down. Accordion fold and add glue at all the folds. Fold the ends of the small fabric piece in and glue down. Then glue and attach to the bow center. Next, glue the bow onto the ears. For the castle adornment, I printed and cut out a photo of the ears themselves. 
I was limited by supplies, so I'm using this gold craft foam as a base. I was going to use topaz colored gems, but they were almost all missing from my Amazon order, so we'll have to switch them out for silver. Place the template right side down on the back of the foam, trace, and cut out using an X-Acto knife. Using a gold paint marker, I'm coloring the sides and back of the foam so that it's not yellow. Then we can add our rhinestone gems, gluing them on with E6000 and using tweezers to place them. So ideally, you would have a slightly more silver base and topaz or gold gems, but this will still give a similar effect. I'm using the smallest size gems and placing them around using the original photo as a guide. With the castle adornment done, we can use some E6000 to glue it on to the bow. And our DIY December grand finale ears are now complete. So hopefully you enjoyed this final Minnie Mouse the Main Attraction DIY ear video. I will have another DIY ear video coming up doing a pair of the recent Disney Parks designer ears. I'm really interested to see what the monthly collections are going to be like that are going to be releasing in 2021. I think it's definitely going to be hard to top the craze of Minnie Main Attraction, but I'm very excited to see what Disney comes up with. But thanks for watching!